Britain's mightiest bomber plant is rolling. Henry Ford welcomes British and U.S. war supply heads Oliver Littleton and Donald Nelson. The schedule, one bomber every hour. Second stop on their tour of inspection is the assembly line of a huge tank plant. Six months ago, sleek, shiny automobiles were rolling through the grounds. Today, grim, heavy weapons of war are being readied for service at the front. In Washington, China's foreign minister, T.V. Sung, concludes a lend-lease agreement with Secretary of State Hull. China will get more and more tanks and bombers to help Generalissimo Chiang Kai-shek. America promises all aid to her gallant Eastern ally. On the Pacific coast, workers in a bomber plant get a visit from America's hero of the hour, General James Doolittle, the man who led the first United States bombing raid on Tokyo. Addressing the men who built the ships that rained bombs on Japan, the general said, thanks for some great airplanes. Thank you.